What's up? Welcome back. So as some of you may know, I've made quite a few videos on my FPS Dominator Strike Pack. I've made videos about how to set it up, about configuring the paddles, about the best Fortnite binds for the paddles. I've made like four or five videos on it, but I've been getting asked a lot more recently how I use my Strike Pack on PC. If you didn't know, I just recently switched to PC from PS4 about a month ago. And I'll be honest, setting the strike pack up for the first like 10 days, I was struggling with it. Like there'd always be something that went wrong. So I kind of just wanted to save you guys the trouble and help as much as possible. Give all the little tips and tricks that I've learned for using the strike pack with PC. Real quick before I get started, I do a lot with the strike pack. I always play with the strike pack. So if you want to see more videos of that kind, all my gameplay is played with the strike pack. So drop a sub if you like to see another fellow player using the strike pack. And at any point, if you are like, thank God, this video helped me so much, saved me so much time, then just simply drop a like and I'll be happy. So here we go. I'm not gonna go into deep explanations about why I do all this stuff. It just works. There's a bunch of weird little quirky stuff that you gotta deal with. So these tips are just what works for me. So to start off right when you load up your PC, make sure you plug in your controller and then if you've installed the drivers to this, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is uninstall those. So if you've never installed drivers for your strike pack, don't worry about this step. You can just skip to this time and it'll take you straight to what you need to do next. But if you have installed drivers, simply run the driver installation as an administrator. So just right click on it, click yes, go over here, uncheck DualShock 3 driver and install Bluetooth driver. You only want the install DualShock 4 driver and then go down until you see your wireless controller and then go ahead over to this right side and click uninstall. I've already done this. So, so then down here, a bunch of like uninstall drivers, a bunch of different things will pop up. It'll probably pop up on your actual PC too. So once that is complete, what you're gonna wanna do is go to Steam and then run Steam as an administrator, but you're always gonna have to run Steam as an administrator. So one way to do that is to right click go down to properties, go to compatibility, and then check this box that says run this program as the administrator. And then you can click okay. And then this little shield will pop up. And then that means every single time you click on it, this message will pop up. You always have to click yes. And then your steam will pop up. Right here, really quickly, go down here and make sure your Epic Games Launcher is not open. If it is, right click on it and click exit. So to use a controller on Steam, you have to go into big picture mode, which is these two arrows. Once you click on that, it'll take you to this. And right away, your controller should already be working. You should be able to move your joystick. And if you have your paddles set to X and circle like I do, try to use them and see if they work. As you can see, I'm clicking my paddle and it's working as X and circle it should work on the controller. If that doesn't work, you simply head over here in the settings, go to controller settings, and make sure this PlayStation configure support is checked. My light actually just died, so sorry if my face cam got a little darker. But anyway, make sure PlayStation configuration support is checked and then go down here. Under detected controllers, make sure it's your controller controller obviously click this and then you can click calibrate or any of that i've never actually done any of that so i don't really know but if you click on preferences you can name it you can turn your rumble on or off and then as you can see my light is red so you can actually change the color of your light on your controller which is pretty cool any specific problem, drop in the comments. I'll answer every single question you guys have. So once you're done with that, go ahead, go over here, click this, click exit, big picture mode. You can just click force quit, it doesn't matter. Go back into your Steam, and now you have to add the Epic Games Launcher as a game. So now you go down to the left hand corner, click add a non-Steam game, and then these are gonna pop up. You wanna click browse. So once you have this open, you're gonna wanna click on program files, go down to epic games epic games launcher engine then binaries then win 64 and then click on epic games launcher there's no spaces in between and then you simply click open it'll go ahead and it'll pop up at the very top and add a check mark 
and then you just come down here and you click add selected programs and it'll add it right up at the top in your library for your games. Go ahead, open big picture mode once again, go to library and then go to the game that you just installed, your Epic Games Launcher. If you go down and click manage shortcut and the controller configuration, it'll take you to this. All you're gonna wanna do is click browse configuration, go to templates and then it'll say gamepad and that's the one that you're gonna wanna use. Unless you wanna go through and configure all that, I'm not even sure what all that does. I just use the gamepad and it works fine for me. The one downside to this is I cannot figure out how to get my touchpad to work. So if you're a touchpad editor, which you really shouldn't be if you have paddles, but if you use like your map or something for touchpad, just remap it to like one of the D-pad buttons. It takes like a day at most to get used to it. It's not that big of a deal. So go ahead, click on the gamepad and then click apply configuration. I'm not going to because I already have it applied, obviously. And then if you do make your own, make sure to export it that alone should work for most people some people might have some more issues so if you do it's a simple fix head up here go to settings on your actual steam go to base configuration click on desktop configuration and then browse once again and add gamepad to this or if you have your own that you just made you can have it saved over here and then use that and once you apply that come back out so once you do that, you can exit big picture mode. One more quick tip is if you have a headset or something, obviously you're gonna be using a headset or speakers or something, come down here, right click on your speaker and click open sound settings. For some reason, the PC likes to default to have your output and your mic default to the controller, which obviously doesn't have an output or a mic. So you won't be able to hear audio or anything. It's a simple fix. All you do is click manage sound devices so this is what it'll look like. I have my actual headset, I have my desktop speakers, and then this is the wireless controller. This is the strike pack. So all you're gonna wanna do is click on it and click disable, and then do the same thing for the microphone. I just disable everything that's not the this microphone. So I disable my webcam mic and the mic that's supposedly on this. I don't know how this detects as a mic. That'll help you out a lot. For the first week, I had absolutely no idea what the problem was, but I could never get my audio to work consistently. Now I have no issues with it. So now you're pretty much all set to play. There's just a few more tips I have to make sure it consistently works every single time you log on. When I shut down my PC for the night or for however long I'm beating off for, I usually unplug my strike pack from the PC and leave it. So then when I come back to my PC, I start everything up. These are the exact steps that I follow. I go over here, I double click on Steam. It's gonna say that, you click yes. It'll come over here. All you do is you click play on the Epic Games Launcher. It'll load up the Epic Games Launcher. Once the Epic Games Launcher loads, this is when you're gonna wanna plug in your controller. So you plug it in, make sure it turns blue and then it turns the color you set it. So that's how you know it works. And then a little pop-up message comes in the corner and says it picks up your configuration. Go down to the library and click launch on Fortnite. Quick reminder while Fortnite's loading up, make sure to drop a like on this video if I've helped you at all. And subscribe to see more content with the strike pack and just more Fortnite related content in general. I really appreciate it. So once you get into the lobby, obviously everything should be working, your paddles and everything, and then you can hop into a game. So then you're all set, you can hop into a game and build and do whatever. It works perfectly. So everything works perfectly as you can see. The only thing is my touchpad doesn't work. It actually changes for some reason. The share button will work as your map. So if you don't like that, then obviously go in and remap it. What I remapped it to is just right on the D-pad. So when I click right on the D-pad, it pulls up my map. And I've just gotten used to that instead of the touchpad as a map. Obviously, if you have the touchpad as something useful, then that might be a little more difficult to rebind your stuff, or you can head into the Steam software and try to figure all that out. I don't feel like messing with it because I don't think it's that big of a deal for me because I've already got used to this, so I can do everything just as well. So that's about all you need to know. Go ahead, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Drop any questions in the comments. I'll be happy to answer all of them. And thanks for watching.